right, we're joined now by Mike Apple over at 680. We're looking at the crazy week that we had and looking to hopefully a bit more of a stable week ahead. Good morning to you, Mike. Yeah, let's hope so, Melanie. Good morning. We're coming off a week that saw Wall Street stock benchmarks all down more than 5% each. And the uh, Toronto stock market, you look over a longer time frame, and the TSX has actually been worse than the U.S. Because the TSX has been on a two-week decline. It's been down in nine of the past ten trading sessions. So the TSX, uh, comparably, also uh, having now a worse year than the U.S. markets on a percentage basis. But, wow, what a week it was. Last week, the Dow was up, down, and all around. And we saw the Dow Friday, for example, down over 500 points early and then back up by 330 by the close. The Toronto market, meantime, was down another 31 points Friday and lost over 3% for the past week. Should mention that all of the markets overseas are looking pretty good to start the trading session this morning. And the Dow Futures Index is back up by almost 300 points. While Disney changing its ticket prices, the theme park operator announcing over the weekend that prices are going up at both Walt Disney World and Disneyland because of record attendance. In 2017, the Avatar World of Pandora uh, 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 exhibit at uh, Disney World, for example, leading to record-breaking crowds, big uh, crowds, long wait times. So what they're trying to do is actually smooth out the uh, crowds during peak time periods. So they're raising the prices at Disneyland by uh, almost uh, 9% and about 4% at Disney World in Florida for the Th Magic Kingdom. And also possibly uh, talking about bringing in fixed date ticketing uh, sometime this summer in advance of the opening of Star Wars Lands, which is set for next year. Uh, we're coming off a week of, well, volatility just because the market maybe was due. Well, this week it could be about earnings. Coming up on the earnings calendar this week, we've got the parent company of Tim Hortons, Restaurant Brands International, set to report results. Air Canada, Canadian Tire, and that uh, sector that has seen a lot of interest over the past year, the mar medical marijuana producers. They'll be reporting quarterly results as well at the TSX this week. Canadian dollar starts the day, just shy of 80 cents U.S. We'll send it back to the studio. And we also have a big uh, infrastructure bill coming out from uh, the U.S. a little later on this morning or this afternoon as well, Mike. Yes, indeed, and that's going to lead to maybe some activity on the construction sector of stock because that's uh, going to be a lot of money being spent if, of course, they can get it through the various levels of Congress in the ah, Senate. That should be not a problem. All right, thank you, sir. <laughs>